King News, my lovely, wonderful people. Our very own brother, uh, Shem Kuti, breaks silence after his release from prison. And uh, what he said is quite intriguing because he exp expanded on what really happened. What people saw was just he was on the bridge and, um, you know, him himself and, you know, the police, he slapped a police officer, but nobody really paid attention to what happened. Nobody videoed what happened before then. He was driving, according to him, his child was in the vehicle and the police or the soldier, whatever, hit him from behind and his child flew to the front and would have, you know, died, could have hit the windscreen and the child would have died, you know said he was still battling with that telling the police and they were shouting so it was that was enough provocation with that anger he was talking to the guy the guy was still trying to defend what he did why his child was lying breathless in the car you know because of the impact of the heat on this bumper from behind why they were still discussing and negotiating that matter the guy was just being funny and hence he slapped him because of the way he was you know he was not even admitting that he has done something wrong you know, for that reason, he was taken to prison and is out. And this is what he has to say. Sheung Kuti breaks silence after his release from prison. Grammy-nominated Afrobeat artist Sheung Kuti has spoken up for the first time since his release from police detention. Daily Post reported that the singer who was detained at the state criminal investigation and intelligence department Yaba Lagos on the order of the Yaba Magist Chief Magistrate Court for asserting a police officer was granted bail on Tuesday evening. Talking to his group shortly after his release, Sheon Kuti thanked all those who stood by him during his ordeal. He wrote, I want to thank a profound, I want to say a profound thank you to everyone who showed all love. All my friends that showed up, thank you mostly to my beautiful wife, he named her, for all of you that stood by me. The issue has been on, but nobody has really asked what happened, that I will slap a police officer. I'm not insane, and I will not just go ahead and slap a police officer without no real cause. I was provoked because of the impact of the heat from the, from the vehicle. Of the police from behind me the guy never said anything i never gave i never indicated that he was wrong or accepted you know any of this this is rather very sad not welcoming not acceptable and it has happened you know so shem kuti is is been released he's been released and um, it is important that we you know we understand what happened prior to what has gone on is out of police custody yeah and um you know uh, our brother uh, femi falana was one of those who stood with him um, he thanked everyone who were with him and what have you however he needed to explain what has happened okay he needed to explain what has happened and he gave his own part because many people stood with him Many people stood by him and were not, were, not, were not justifying what he did. I mean, you're not supposed to assault a police, you know. However, he said, because we know that action, you know, begat reactions. There was a reason he did what he did, according to him. Is that justifiable? Now that is it's still very questionable here and there. However, he said he was being provoked. And the police never came up to say sorry. And instead, they were trying to defend what they've done. You know, even though that a life could be in jeopardy. They care less. And this is rather really sincerely sad. You know, so that was what provoked him and led to what happened. Although it's not a, it's not a yastic for you to do what you did because you can still contain yourself. However, this would have led to the death of someone because of the impact, only God knows at what, you know, at what, uh, uh, you know, speed the police vehicle was coming. You know, in Nigeria, they can just go ahead and speed up as do they own the roads, you know. So these are some of the things that have happened that may have led to him behaving the way he did. It's not a yastic for you to, 
you know, hit a police officer. However, he says he has a reason why he did what he did. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, you can see for yourself that, you know, people do things, but you just need to find out what really happened. You need to know what may have transpired. Okay. What may have transpired so that you are not, uh, you don't leave yourself in the dark wondering, you know, um, wondering what exactly is going on. Okay. Uh -huh. So it is what it is. It is what it is. And we all just need to understand that at the end of the day, Nigeria will become our own. And whatever we do, we go a long way to determine how things are. So we must do it well. We must do it well. Okay? We must do it well. Um, every single one of us have a duty, have a part to play. And so please, let's play it and let's do it well. So that together we can make a difference. Because this nation belongs to us. Forget about the crap that they bring, keep bringing and saying that you're not qualify all this and that. But that's not very true. That's not very true. We all owe it. We all owe ourselves the duty to ensure that we are standing on the pedestal of truth. And we're doing everything, humanly speaking, possible to bring us to where we need to be. The issue here is that Nigeria really needs a breath of fresh air. And we really need to ensure that we are standing together as one, you know, we, we, you know, ensuring that we do what is needed and necessary to change the course of what is happening today. Remember, it's up to you and I to ensure that we do everything we need to do to bring Nigeria to where it needs to be. Okay? Remember that Nigeria belongs to each and every one of us and we cannot continue to pretend that these things are not there. Okay? If anything is going to change, if things are going to get, you know, get uh, really, um, get interesting, and we just have to ensure that we are in the middle of it. We are not caught by surprise. No, we are not. It is what it is. This nation, people are dying for the soul. People are trying to take the soul of this nation, but will not give them that chance or opportunity. Please don't forget you are important. Don't forget to give us a, a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Have a good day. Bye-bye.